Sometimes on those ways out there, I can't remember what happened. It's a funny feeling, like it, it sort of is very, really exciting, but also hard to recall sometimes. She is the, the first woman to climb the, the Everest of, of the South Coast. I'm totally amazed at the courage and at the, um, the skill level and the nerve it takes to um, put yourself into a position where you can be maimed or, or even killed. My name's Laura McCauley, I'm from Gracetown in WA and I'm 28 years old. Uh, growing up in Gracetown was so amazing. It's a pretty small community so we got pretty uncrowded ways growing up which was really nice. Surfers have always been attracted to riding those large waves. That, that's part of the adrenaline rush. Surfers from around the globe do travel to the south coast of Western Australia in search of these, these beasts. To get out there you need to go on a jet ski um, for about 25 minutes and it's such a beautiful drive, like you're going through the inlet and it's just so picturesque, like you feel like you're in a novel or something. So yeah, it's always really exciting and I think you're always pinching yourself driving out there. Not me driving, but if I'm on the back of a ski and just feel like it's so beautiful that it's just, yeah, nice to get down there. You can die. If you come off or you get put in a bad situation, you have zero control over what the ocean's doing to you. The wave will just humble you. It will spank you at, at, at any point in time it, it chooses. She downplays what she's doing. Her efforts are nothing short of groundbreaking just to go out there. My dad was a professional surfer for 10 years. Like surfing is a big part of um, our upbringing and our life now and I think we all just love it. Dad never really pushed us into it, he just let us choose it when we wanted to and yeah it's probably like a healthy relationship with surfing and we just, we just love it. I wouldn't say that I'm not kind of uneasy about it as a father but um, you know I, I trust her judgment. She's very fit and she does a lot of courses you know holding breath holding courses and that sort of stuff and um, yeah it's, it's what she wants to do so I'll you know as a father I'll support her in that. Being a woman I think there's plenty of inspiration that others should take from what she's doing as she's really pushing the limits. There's no better feeling than getting a good wave in front of your friends that you respect and it just it feels so nice and if everyone is just having a good time out there together and pushing themselves.